。有一个美国女孩，她十年的青春都在高原深居简出，带领藏民用古法编织牦牛绒围巾，在时尚圈被追捧着。上千欧元一条的奢侈品围巾，居然来自山野，听上去不可思议。了不起的匠人，我们来认识纺织匠人一西德成。My name is De Chen. I found myself traveling the Tibetan plateau that makes beautiful handwoven product. But I definitely feel that just looking back at myself. I don't want to go back to my 20s. I knew that if I'm going to do this, I have to dedicate my life to it, and even if that means spending my entire life here. Morning, eight a.m. 在人多马乡的诺勒工坊，一百二十多个藏族村民正在用纯手工的方式和上等牦牛绒编织有高原特色的围巾。几个月之后，这些围巾将被送往巴黎，而连接两个不同世界的人是美国女孩伊西德成，当地人称呼她为德清。爸爸是藏族人。二零零四年，二十二岁的德清来到仁多玛寻根。德清的妈妈精通纺织，于是叫女儿去甘南寻找一种直径只有二十微米的牦牛绒，看看能不能用它们做出点什么。He is the person that I first met when I came here. He was a nomad, and for him it was a very big sacrifice. Because I was young and his family was not so confident, which is understandable because. I just arrive and I'm talking about、uh, weaving scarves and making products and just these things that for them just seem so far away. And people have, I mean, there's a big sense of pride too. I mean, what if they gave up everything and this didn't work out and I didn't, I got tired of village life and went back to the U.S. Then it's kind of embarrassing for them in their village also. 牦牛绒就是牦牛身上用来御寒的一层底绒。每年春天，它们会自然脱落。两岁牦牛的绒是最好的，然而产量稀少。工坊最近接到了某奢侈品牌的新款披肩订单，每条披肩需要三十头牦牛绒才能做成。上午，德清和桑吉一同去牧民家走访，看看牦牛的生长情况。When I came here, I was struck by just the poverty. I mean, there was no internet.、Uh, the roads were really bad.、Uh, There was electricity, but there was no plumbing. So in the beginning, I would、uh, kind of go with the uh, traditional, um, even a tra more traditional appearance, where I'd have longer hair and tie it, and、um, just kind of go with how other women here are. Generally, people in rural areas, Tibetan people in general as well, is that it's initially it's quite difficult to get their trust. 
um, it's difficult to just kind of arrive and say something and expect everyone to listen to you and trust you. The challenge here though is that a lot of people, especially in the beginning who came to work for us, is, it was the first time they had a job in their lives, so they could eat when they wanted, they could go out when they wanted, they could sleep when they wanted. It's life, you know, and I'm human, so things happen and you get stressed out and you're just like, oh. But I mean, there's times where I just kind of like, okay, I have to get out of here, even if it's for two days or three days. De Qing Huale Yinian Shijian, Ba Sangji, Hata the Chit, Tong Bu Shizi, Pei Xun Chen, Rendo Machun, Di Yip, Wei Bianchi, Shinji, Wei Yingwen, the Yangong. Rango, go some Lu Chen, Hun Chen, and Narangil Ho Jong at the Mukong Maini, Nakwa, Chimansri, Tendi, Tonke Rango, Loglik Shakayang, the Mondo, Chi Litamo, the Tinian Sajak Zanton Zene, Yakurk Show. Korea Tower, Taiko Tower, the Monday Young, Jacob Janton Zena, Yuji Tarjan Tonjago Shakayan, Rongi Kujir Jimonok. Tangana Tomo, Chironochi Gigan, Tomo Tino, Yanara Tanaki, Yanata, Ketija, Jani Nehuti or Tash, Ronga Rongi Sena, you know, Anu Shimu Tamoko, Rongi Tino, Yapazi, Tamu Yapazi, Tamu. I think a spirit where you're willing to share is very important. When we first started the workshop, it was a lot, I trained people directly a lot, so I had to learn all the different different calculation methods, that, what it takes for the different skill sets. But以前的品牌产品诉求不谋而合。从2008年起,越来越多的国际大牌,比如路易维登、爱马仕等,选择了和德清合作,但事情并不是那么简单。I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things, uh, just generally, sometimes it's, it's um, a client who make a big order and would be so happy one year and then we would employ more people and then the next year they'll kind of say, oh, but Yakul is not the style this year and they wouldn't order. So it's just that you work so hard and then all of a sudden what you expect to happen doesn't happen. Even in the village who don't understand what we do and they think that we might be making lots of money. Now they've really learned to appreciate it and they like having a steady source of uh, cash flow and they're happy. But in the past we had a lot of, we had to really talk to the village and explain to them that, um, that this is, we're doing this with good intentions and of helping them. So when they don't understand, that can be very kind of stressful for me too. In that. people who are making the products and it's not machines, so it's very difficult to be consistent. What's very interesting about our spinning method is that people, the women who are spinning are not actually, they don't use their eyes as much, it's mostly done through the touch from their fingers. Chile, she's
。德清和同事赶紧趁雪景去拍产品。模特是身高一米九的万代，在工棚的染色部工作。One day, the head of our dyeing section has become quite the supermodel. Then more and more people are starting to recognize him and go into the dyeing room, especially our clients from France.、Uh, when they come here, they want to go into the dyeing room and find and meet and see and take their picture with Wandi. 坚持用员工做模特，坚持自己拍摄产品，坚持以最古老的方式手工制作布料，坚持用昂贵但环保的进口染料。德清有很多坚持，而在尊重信仰和不失去与自然联系的前提下，让牧民们与现代社会接壤，是德清带给这片高原的新景象。在结束一天工作后，德清会在网上更新他的高原日记。在没有城市社交圈的日子里，是否孤独？回首十年青春，德清想得很清楚。A lot of people, I find that in my friends, when they become 30 and enter their 30s, they're all like, "Ah,、oh, I wish I was 20." But I definitely don't want to go back because I was a lot less confident,、uh, more insecure, not so sure of what I was doing, not as experienced. And now in my 30s, every year I just feel a little bit more mature, which is actually quite a nice feeling. My kids have started calling this home. Let's go home. Was this for me? Let's go home. Was going to where my parents are because they feel so connected to this place, and they're much more connected. I mean, they're more accepted by the village.、They're, they they talk without, they speak the language without an accent, and they're just one of exactly the same as other kids here. I knew that if I'm going to do this, I had to dedicate my life to it, and even if that means spending my entire life here. 德清的十年缓慢如修行，他以常人难以想象的耐心和意志，复苏藏族古老的纺织工艺，让人多玛的村民以新的节奏呼吸、劳作，获得可持续的幸福感和尊严。而他也找到了自己的心灵归处。我觉得很重要的一个原因是，其实我们现在就是讲求一个效率的社会，什么都是要快，什么都是要速度。那大家都是追求改变，改变包括你的生活，包括你的工作，甚至有可能你的价值观也跟着改变。那有的时候你会忘记了最初的自己。那透过匠人，我觉得在他们身上我看到的就是专注，他们极尽的挑剔。也极尽的坚持，才能够成就了自己。觉得当你的生活和这个空间很单纯的时候，你会把自己好像升华了。所以你看这个节目，你会觉得很羡慕他们的生活方式，因为他们从工作中得到很巨大的快乐，同时也传承了文化。能够参与这个团队，我也是希望能够向这些匠人致敬。其实我觉得大家有的时候会拿我的声音做文章，像说“哇哇音”啊等等。<笑>嗯，这一次配音的时候，我觉得它因为整个故事整体架构已经非常的扎实，我好希望我自己的声音就是最后的那一块粘着剂，好像水一样就留在当中，娓娓道来这样的故事